Hey y'all, um, we're not going to do a regular crochet video today. Um, hold on, am I, let me make sure I'm on. I don't have fancy equipment, so y'all got to bear with me that I have everything running. Okay, most of y'all know I'm Sunshine with Sunny Crochet, but today I want to talk to you something about that is, uh, weighing in on my heart, and, I. Uh, Decided we're going to do like a little vlog, a little come to Jesus meeting. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so over the weekend, we had a massive problem. Um, uh, Friday, Friday, I walk out my door to a wall of flame. Somebody has set the old theater on fire. And... Um, it was just, it was crazy. It was a huge fire. Huge, huge fire. And it, an historical landmark has been burned down now. How it did not catch the rest of this town on fire, I don't know. It was a miracle. Um, everybody suspected that the kids had done it. And, um, you know, everybody kind of expected that. And yesterday, they got arrested. Three kids, three kids, not adults, three kids got arrested. And then, um, on the way to jail, they were Snapchatting and laughing about it. Here comes my problems. What the hell happened to these kids? What is going on with the youth of America today? You're Snapchatting and laughing about what you did going to jail? Y'all are a bunch of idiots. I would be ashamed to be the mother of these kids. I mean, come on. This is just not right. And, you know, on one hand, I do feel sorry for these kids. But on the other hand, they got what they deserved. I live in Crane, Texas. All of this you can find on the news from Crane, Texas. The historical theater, the, the stories. Okay, there is nothing in this town for these kids to do. Now, I'm not giving them an excuse of why they did this. Because there's no excuse why they needed to do this. But, on the other hand, they got to realize there's nothing for these kids to do but walk around, set on stuff on fire, walk around and do nothing. You know, this town is dead. There's just... I mean, you have to go to Odessa, Texas, which is about 35, 40 miles north. And to do anything. And that's really sad. You would think somebody in this town would stand up and say, Hey, you know, maybe we should do something different. Maybe we should, you know, do something for these kids. But nobody has. And I don't understand why. It seems like everybody's giving up on this town. Um, you know, and it's just, it's so sad and it's heartbreaking that... These kids have resorted to burning down stuff and causing chaos when they could be productive and do something. But anyway, I know most of y'all have already clicked off of this and most of y'all will give me a thumbs down. But, you know, do y'all have that problem in your town where you live? Do you have the problem of there is nothing for these kids to do? And it's so sad. It really is. And I don't know. There's nothing that can be done. You know, when nobody cares. Our, our, when you walk, when you drive through the main section of town, there's nothing but abandoned buildings. I mean, it looks like a ghost town here. Um, it's just, I don't know. We have tons of people, though. That's the weird thing. We have tons of people. But nobody taking that initiative to be like, well, you know, maybe we should do something. I'm hoping that they tear down that building that, the historical theater because there's not much left and make a building for something that the kids can do you know have something for those kids but anyway I want to say I want to proud of my kids my mom and dad have really made some outstanding kids and I cannot be prouder mine still say yes ma'am no ma'am open doors and very polite children and I, I just can't thank my mom and dad enough for that. And I see a big difference to me personally. I see a big, big difference between kids that are raised in the country and kids that are raised in the city. I, to me, there's a huge difference. 
So anyway, y'all, I quit rambling, but I just had that on my heart today, and I really wanted to talk about it. And you know, I, if I get thumbs down, it's okay. Here lately, I've been getting them, and I don't know why, but it's okay if I do, cause you're having a right to your opinion. Um, so, but anyway, if you're a parent in a in a really dead town, just please watch after your kids. Just give them an option to do something because what that happened outside is ridiculous it's it's just ridiculous i mean you could even feel the heat in my on my porch it was that big of a fire and it started at 10 something and was still burning when i went to bed at 2 30. uh so it was it was a big big fire and we had to have like three or four counties come in and help. And it's just sad to see a pretty beautiful, beautiful old building go down in flames because kids are bored. So anyway, I thank y'all for watching. Thank you for watching this whole video. I do appreciate it. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. I don't. You know, it's whatever. Um, please subscribe. Comment. I read and comment. I read and reply to every comment. So, uh, thank y'all for watching.